Untitled Goose Game. You didn't read that wrong. That is actually the name of this game. They just didn't care to actually name it. Or as they would say, that is the name. But it kind of feels like when you name one of your dogs, Dog 1 and Dog 2. Sure, it's kind of clever, but it's also lazy as well. This is a tough title to classify. It felt like it wanted to be a stealth game, but with no consequences, why bother being stealthy? So I would say this is just a point and click adventure game, because in the end, that's pretty much what it is. You play as a goose who is an so basically it's a goose. You're gonna need to steal, scare, and make a nuisance of yourself as you travel through the five areas of this game. Well, four and one fourth, as the final area is pretty quick. You're given a checklist of things to do in each area. If you do enough of them, you'll get a final task to move you to the next area. My only question is, who's writing out this list for this goose? It's never explained as far as I could tell, so I just kind of assumed Satan. I mean, it would make sense, and only the devil would write a checklist in cursive. It's 2019. Half of the kids playing this won't be able to know what to do since schools don't teach cursive anymore. Mommy, what's this squiggly line and what does T mean? Is this an art project or reading? As you follow the instructions that you're given, you're going to make yourself more evil. If this ended with the goose having to kill someone at the end, I wouldn't have been surprised. However, it ended on one of the most tedious chase sequences, which the whole time when it was happening didn't make a lot of sense. I guess you just have to see things the way a goose saw them to really understand the ending. I just wish there was like an actual ongoing story between the chapters, other than just the simple one of a whole goose terrorizes a small town. The checklist for the most part had a varied amount of things to do, with the exception of the fetch quest which was in every area. You didn't need to do everything on the checklist to move on, which was nice, but I do wish the get this or get that quest was only limited to one or two areas. To put it in every area just felt like a lazy add-on, and really didn't make sense in the context of the story they were telling. I mean why is a goose trying to make a picnic? Or set a table? It doesn't even do anything with it! The different areas had different types of challenges. Sometimes people were spread out, and other times they were all around and just very hard to avoid. They're never going to try and kill you, they just push you away. And even if they do take the item that you've been holding away from you, you can just take it back right away and just run away with it. I do wish the controls were better though. The duck had a very large turning radius and it felt very clunky. Since you couldn't die it wasn't a huge deal, but it did cause me to lose an item from time to time because of it. Now this is a very short game, I finished it in 2 hours, and it was nice that after you finished the game they gave you a new list of things to do. So there is some replayability. As as well as the challenge to do it as fast as possible. Untitled Goose Game was fun, but I do wish it was longer. Graphically it had a very artsy type look to it, but it also did have very clunky controls. But this is kind of a minor complaint. Now this is normally $19.99, and I picked it up on sale for $14.99. And for basically a 3 hour game, if you include the extra things you could do after you finish the game, it would make it hard to recommend it full price. I would wait for it to go on sale because of the length. Like I said, while it was fun to play, I do wish it was longer. So when the game does go on sale, yeah, you should pick this up.